In this video, we're going to be having a look at Terra Luna as well as Bitcoin. But Terra Luna right now is currently painting a bear flag. The question is, are we going to come back down? We're also going to be having a look at Bitcoin currently dumping. And Terra Luna has been following Bitcoin for the first time. Well, not for the first time, but it's been following Bitcoin for a couple of days now and usually before what happened is that every time terra luna would dump bitcoin would pump and every time bitcoin would dump terra luna would pump so they were um anti-correlated and now everything is dumping with bitcoin so bitcoin is down seven eight percent in the past 24 hours 17 percent in the past seven days almost we got ethereum ever since proof of stake came out down 25 percent in the past seven days and that ethereum makes it the most out of any other cryptocurrency including altcoins uh, we got ethereum classic down 26 percent so part of the eth uh, family we got terra luna classic down 32 percent of course after a 600 percent run you're gonna have a nice little correction but besides that guys ethereum has just been getting destroyed has been getting wrecked and and I think that Ethereum and proof of stake, them moving from proof of work to proof of stake really uh, disabled the whole market. Really, really crazy. And of course, guys, I told you that proof of stake is really, really bad for cryptocurrencies. So not only is proof of stake more scalable, but it's less decentralized and less secure. So proof of work, of course, it's more it's a uh, less scalable proof of work, but it's more decentralized and it's uh, more secure. So Bitcoin, of course, I mean, we always saw these proof of stake coins getting hacked, like the Polkadot eco ecosystem of Akala. Um, we saw Ethereum coins getting hacked. We saw Terra Luna getting hacked. We saw Solana getting hacked and um, their ecosystem, essentially, or they always have to get shut down somehow. And of course, proof of stake is also very bad because essentially is that most of the validators are institutions and they're the ones essentially making money out of all the retail investors. This is how I see it. I think it's a big, big Ponzi scheme. Um, I really personally don't invest in proof of works. I, I, I like uh, coins. I mean, proof of stake. I like coins like Kadena and whatnot, but this is not what this video is about. This video is going to be really more about Bitcoin and Terra Luna. So let's have a look at Bitcoin and then we're going to dive into some interest rate. What could happen this week with the F OMC meeting and then we're going to dive into Terra Luna Classic. So having a look at Bitcoin USDT starting off with a daily time frame real quick and having a look at the EMA ribbons. What can we see over here? First of all, on the RSI, we it seems like we could come down a little bit more. And if we do, we would be making a lower low essentially. But having a look at the exponential moving average coming back down, we can see right here that we have a few fake outs. This was a fake out right here on Bitcoin. And then we had another one right here above the EMA ribbon. We never had that nice little explosion, the good explosion of Above the exponential moving average okay we came up a little bit then came back down and then we were a little bit confused didn't know what we didn't know what to do and then essentially came back down another fake out same thing right here we never had two three candles now you know guys in my videos every time i talk about the ema ribbons i like to see two three full candles close above the ema ribbon right here this was not a nice little close which if you guys remember i i, I called a nice little short right here because of this nice falling wedge even though we were outside of the exponential moving average it seemed very 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 confused and we know that every time we're above the ema ribbon we always get dumped and crashed and essentially you know we we essentially trend to the downside and this is exactly what is happening right now now the question is are we going to close below this level 18,852 by the end of today? Because if we do, that could be very, very, very bad. I mean, to have a closure above this level, we haven't had a closure above this level in, in quite some time. I mean, we first of all, we haven't been in uh, below this level since uh, 90 and 90 days. But the last time we were actually in this level was November 16, 2022. So that's almost two years, guys. That is a long time. Um, almost two years since we've been around this level. Now, my bottom for Bitcoin, if you guys have been watching my video, I've been mentioning $9,000 to $12,000. If we have a look on the on the weekly time frame, it's approximately around this area right here. Okay, so I really think that Bitcoin will come back to this area. And of course, guys, if you rem remember, I've been talking about the LA wave pattern for quite some time. And I mentioned that right now we were in the fifth wave, right? So right now, if we take out the Elliott Wave pattern, uh, this is the first one. This is the second one, followed by correction, third one, followed by another correction, fourth one, and then the fifth one. So the Elliott Wave pattern should finish around this area right now. Now, we know the fifth can be longer than the third wave. This is why I don't think we're going to uh, essentially dump farther than that. And of course, if we come to this level and we retrace it back to this level, um, we could see that this is a very, very strong support level for uh, Bitcoin essentially so yes nine thousand to twelve thousand dollars and then after that we're most likely going to bounce consolidate do something
something like that before continuing the next bull run in 2023 2024 or even 2024 2025 now we know the halving is in 2024 and we know what happened last halving four months after the halving we is essentially exploded so i don't think we're gonna essentially really take off until may of 2024 or even july of of 2024 now i know it might, might might sound like a long long time but guess what guys you get a literally two years or almost two years of pure accumulation phase so i think this is very very good for you crypto geeks or if you are a true believer in crypto it doesn't matter what crypto if you did your research and due diligence there's no reason why you shouldn't be happy about this long 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 accumulation phase because in literally three years you will be a millionaire if of course you accumulate and you don't do stupidities um anyways having a look at some fomc meeting real quick happening in two days so of course 9 21 we got interest rate projections and we got some meetings going on 6 p.m gmt time depending where you are around the world of course um but the time is through gmt now the rates are supposed to go up four percent if that happens we could see a massive massive dump in bitcoin now they are projecting right here 3.4 percent um 3.8 i mean yeah this is the current projections right here it should be anywhere under four percent um that's what they're saying if they do rise the rates to four percent that could be a huge 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 crazy pump for the interest rate and the dixie it's going to be very very interesting to see where this goes of course we haven't been this high in i believe 10 years I mean, yeah, even 25 years. I mean, the last time we were at 4% was right here, was in 2008 um, in the financial crisis, the 2008 in, uh, real estate crisis. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see what goes on this week. I will not be taking any trades personally until a day or literally 12 hours after the meeting takes place because it's going to get very, very crazy on that day. Maybe a big short, maybe a big long, who knows, but that's about it. Let's have a look at Lunk. Diving in into Lunk, well, Lunk has been following Bitcoin, but guess what? It is in a uh, channel right now. We are in a uh, sort of channel or bear flag, I guess you can say. Now, if we have a look on the four-hour time frame, what can potentially be the target? First of all, if we have a look at the EMA ribbon real quick before I get into the target, we have never closed above the exponential moving average on the four-hour time frame. Now, I mentioned there were three key things to look out for. Stochastic RSI, volume to breakout, and a closure above the EMA ribbon. Now, the unfortunate part is we never, never, never close above the exponential moving average. And as you guys can see right here, we had another rejection at the last ribbon. So not only did we get at the first ribbons right here, but we also recently earlier today got a nice little rejection at this ribbon. Now, what can the target be? Well, if I have a look at um, at the bear flag right here and I take a pull, which would essentially be the top from the bottom and this breaks out of the bear flag we could be down for a bad 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 movement guys all the way down to almost zero i'm not even kidding but we can i'm not saying we could go to zero but we could literally definitely come back down to this area right here i know this is not the best news that everyone wants to hear but seeing uh essentially luna at this area right here is definitely definitely possible of course this is assuming bitcoin does go down before terra luna didn't really go down when bitcoin went down but now it is doing so and of course we do have a nice little support region right here sitting anywhere between 26 and 22 so this is definitely going to be an area to watch for Terra luna classic that's that on the four hour time frame on the daily time frame it seems like we do want to go up a little bit i mean the stochastic rsi are looking pretty pretty good uh they're oversold and we know the last few times that this happened i mean we were oversold right here we pumped right we had a nice little pump right here as well and of course we had a nice little one or a big little one right here sitting uh 600 pump so stochastic rsi are oversold and we know when we're around this area we usually tend to explode but of course we're gonna have to see how this happens or whatever happens in the next future or in the near future if we have a look at tw having a look at twitter now this was just in of course less than an hour ago we saw uh south Korea pr uh, prosecutor says luna founder do Kwon is on the run and not cooperating with the investigation now of course this is creating a lot of fud a lot of mess in the market a lot of people are scared and to clarify guys do Kwon hasn't been of the lunk terra luna community since may so it's really soul on investors and the community right now they're taking over the project pretty much but he hasn't been part part of the loom community and it's just crazy i mean he is literally on the run guys he is running away and that's that usually never it's it's usually never a good sign people are gonna trust luna less and it just it's it's essentially it's just huge disaster right now so honestly this is my short video on you know terra luna bitcoin the whole crypto market some interest rate that's supposed to be happening this week if you guys like this information don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow